How you doing? This is Aaron with RevolutionAthlete.com. I'm going to show you three good exercises you can do at home or anywhere uh, for sprinting. Um, obviously, you're a sprinter. You want to be very strong in your legs, very powerful. Um, you want to be very flexible also, um, not to have injuries. You want to have a big, powerful body as well. Um, whatever gets the job done. So, the first exercise I'm going to show you very basic. It's a combination of a lower body and an upper body exercise. It's a squat and row. So, very easy. You can use anything I have here. As you can see, I got a couple of plates. Got these at some uh, yard sales, uh, medicine ball, um, local department store, pretty cheap. You can use basically anything, um, chug of water, whatever you want. So, the first exercise works. We're in good squat position as we come down. We go over the squat a lot to go over it again. When you come down, remember your chest is up. Okay? Your knees aren't going over your toes, and you're sitting back in your heels. So when you come back, you should be able to wiggle your toes a little bit so you know that all the weight is on your heels. If you're not able to wiggle your toes, you have too much weight going forward and your knee is going to be over your toes. So you want the weight around here, not up here. Okay? So squatting down, okay? that's the first part of the exercise. The rolling part comes in. I'll show you with a light plate and the heavier one so you can see my hands. So my hands and my feet are nice and relaxed. My feet are shoulder width apart, they're facing forward, they're not facing out at an angle. When I come down, my knees aren't coming in. Everything's straight as I come down, okay? Straight. So, to put it together, the squat and row looks like this. You squat down, and you pull it in towards your chest, come back down, stand up. Okay, very easy. So now you're working your legs. Your core, which is your lower, um, your abs and your lower back, pulling the weight in. Now you're using your lats, your back, okay? Coming straight up. Okay? You can use a heavier weight or you can use a light one depending on if you're just starting or you're more advanced. Alright, the second exercise, a split jump. How are you gonna do this? You wanna be more explosive in your legs, obviously, for sprinting. You're gonna start with the weight over your knee. So if you're looking straight on, if you're looking at me, the weight starts over the knee, this way. So you're not over here, so you're off balance. You wanna be right over the knee this way, okay? So if you're looking at me this way, you should be here, okay? Your knee's not touching, you're getting ready to jump up, okay? So you don't wanna to be too close. You wanna be real far away. Just take a nice, comfortable step backwards. That's your starting point. And the weight goes over your knee, okay? So it should be on the outside of that leg you're starting with. Okay? You're going to explosively jump up okay, and come back down. You're catching your body. You're not stopping. When I say catch your body, I mean when you come down and, and land, you're catching this way. You're not stopping. Okay? So it should look like this. And then in midair, you're actually going to switch because when you come down, you're going to be down on this leg. So the weight will be on this side. So straight on, I'll do it slow. You go up and back down. Okay? Same thing. Go back the other way. Up back down, okay? Watch this way, up, back down. So you see I make a, not a lot of noise when I'm hitting the ground. You don't want to be making a lot of noise. You want to be quiet. You're catching your body. You're not leading to any injuries. That's uh, just a jumping squat, okay? Or a jumping split squat. Up, other side, okay? The higher you go, the better. The more powerful you are, obviously that helps in sprinting. Last exercise is a uh, just a basic shoulder press and calf raise. Obviously, you have to have strong arms going back and forth. Your back and arms are obviously strong, and you're gonna be working your calves all the time running because you're gonna be on the balls of your feet. So, last one, just very simple. Weights in front of you. Your abs are tight here and here. And your lower back. You press up, and you come up on your toes if you look towards the ground. So I'm coming up on my toes also. Okay, here, here. Okay, look straight ahead. Watch up. So if you watch, see the weights directly over the top of my head. You don't want it out here. Okay, you don't want it back here. You want it right over your head. You don't have to lock your arms out hard, but just enough. Okay, you don't want to be here. Just enough. Here, back down, and up. So if you do get tired, you're gonna be using your calves to bring that weight up the rest of the way. Those are just three good exercises you can do at home. Hopefully it will help with your training. 
Um, use whatever sets and reps you want. If you go to revolutionathlete.com, we have entire circuits based on these uh, type of exercises. And um, hope these uh, work out for you. Best of luck. Thank you.